that's errand. Then he's in trouble. That's over with. Thanks for the help. Come on over here and have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? What, you don't feel like talking? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. You know, maybe she thought... It... Oh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some Shadow Karja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Karja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Yurt. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Almost there. Alright, this is it. Where the ambush happened? Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. There must be Shadow Karja armor. A Shadow Karja spear. Strange. Not a scratch on it. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. This is the spot where we found Ursa. Where those devils beat her to death. 
I, I should have been here to fight with her. I'll keep looking. I appreciate it. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. Arrows scattered there. They look like snares. They look good as new. Never fired. End. Not much farther now. Olin said he found an image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from Norland. I don't get it. I wish she... Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You! Spying through my focus again! Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better. 
the bubbling wheel. Maker's End is crawling with Eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. Who is he and how does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? Grab this now. We're under attack! Another shot! This is gonna look real good on me. Ah! 
I gotta pick it up and move. Sending you something. I'm gonna cut you down, drop it. See how much of a mess. them to clear out and they shouted right back at me.
That'll keep my stomach quiet. a moment like this every them soon enough.
dust. Someone here? Got a prisoner, and he needs help. Something broke. I don't know who you are, but now you're free. The name's Nassan. 
Would you believe I got caught smuggling food from Meridian to the poor and hungry in Sunfall? I might. Then I'll get back to it. Thanks to you, stranger. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find my own way out. I'd have to leave something else behind.
Went to the market, slipped on some fruit. I just want a moment's peace. Snow's got a bite out here. Said it would be not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait!
the old ones do here? Explosion.
to run. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. Hold for identity scan. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. The air. There's no smell to another cave in. But I could get through. That is a ramp to get back up.
I can't spare the weight. the way up. What's left of it? It's gonna be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. Plants can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now, I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand-down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, I can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And the day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace.
a way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The phone has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another fellow has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, th you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained, it can't be! You know what I mean? Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. The final foe has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. 
From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express <laughs> doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence, that's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. All right, Silence, you've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobeck. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... Life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a B.O.R. 7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. <laughs>